Ah, finally. I have a note for you from that spark chap, because apparently I'm the Arcanum postman too. The note reads... Wizard, Captain Pork and I have returned to Ariel to refine the intra-ethereal navigational system, as well as study the enigmatic ether. Ugh, and there's a page of technobabble. He says they're installing sensors, blah blah, terapeptide fluctuations, and he ends with... All this, of course, is for naught without young Mallory. Please consult with Beans and the scholars, then rendezvous with us in Nowhere Village. Well, you heard the Nimbari. Scholar Xander and the surly pigmen are looking after Mallory in recovery room A. Go on, then. I'm not your personal secretary, you know. Spark wants you to talk to Dr. Beans about what you're all going to do about Mallory. So go. Lucky what the fire cat dragged in. I was beginning to worry you were stuck in some interminable dungeon. I wish I could tell you you missed a lot, but unfortunately there's been little more than nervous frustration here. Beans and Xander have been working tirelessly to keep Mallory's body alive, but the poor little darling is only getting worse. We've pored over every text available, from ancient scrolls to Captain Pork's Imperia mission report, but we're no closer to reviving Mallory. The vitality boluses have always been a temporary solution. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of precedent for reviving a semi-divine entity. Medical science and magic are both stumped. It seems as if her spirit is lost. The only person who can wake up Mallory is Mallory. Well, there is still one last experimental enchantment we can try, but it's incredibly risky. We'll need you to go out and procure the active galactic nucleus of a juvenile neutron star. You'll do no such thing. There will be no experiments conducted on any of my students without my direct supervision. barge in here and tell me how to care for my daughter. With all due respect to Baba Yaga, Melori is more than just your injured child. She's the key to whether or not we all live or die. You are canon scholars <laughs> have no right to make unilateral decisions that affect the outcome of the entire spiral. There are those of us who have dealt with and fought against Spyler and the forces of Shadow before. Not only that, but we are the ones on the ground dealing firsthand with Raven's mysterious Lufalum incursions. Lufalum incursions? Impossible! The Lufalum are guardians, not soldiers! They never leave the Light Temples! Yes, well, they do now. Had any of you asked, you know the reports of Lufilim sightings have come from every corner of the spiral. Lufilim incursions? That news is overwhelming. Clearly, the only hope the spiral has is for all of us to work together. I'm glad you finally see it that way, Scholar Verga. There's much to discuss. Oh, but first, Wizard, uh, a moment. Lost in all this confusion is the fact that our dear old Bartleby's condition is also deteriorating. He cannot go on like this much longer. Even with his eye of history back, Bartleby's only able to mutter fragmented sentences, mostly calling out for Mallory. Ooh, and you. Actually, he has requested you specifically. I know you're in the middle of something, wizard, but desperate times call for desperate measures. None of this business with Raven and Spider will matter if Bartleby dies. We must go to Ravenwood and help the great tree. Let's be off.
Strong, my old friend. Look, I've brought the wizard as you requested. Uh, Mulinda, has there been any change? Only for the worse, I'm afraid. His leaves lose color by the minute. He may not have much time left. Bartleby's entire root system is being ravaged by a virulent pestilence, rendering him unable to do much more than mutter to himself. The pestilence was born of powerful magic the likes of which I've never encountered before. And it's getting stronger. We believe it was delivered here by that anomalous cold wind that blew in during your graduation. Oh, if only we hadn't been so preoccupied then. Wizard, complete the ritual. The spring's eternal. Please, hurry. I need your help. Be strong, old friend. Help is on the way. A wizard, that ritual Bartleby just spoke of is the arboreal ritual. And it is why you are here. The arboreal ritual is a test to determine the one true champion of the great tree, the steward of tree magic, Bartleby's science. Many have attempted the ritual, but none have succeeded, including me. But Bartleby seems to think your luck may be different. Hurry, wizards. The springs must remain pure. The springs eternal is the source of all the life-giving water throughout the spiral, and it originates directly under Bartleby. If the springs eternal become poisoned, the entire spiral won't be far behind. Yes, but there won't be anything for the pestilence to poison if Bartleby can't revive Mallory. That is why you are here, wizard. You see, Bartleby's root system is a sacred place. The altar where the arboreal ritual is conducted is guarded by ancient forest spirits. Wizard, complete the ritual. Mallory is key. I cannot hold it back. Help me. Help her. Just hurry. There's no time to waste. Bulinda, prepare the wizard for the arboreal ritual. I must consult with the Arcanum and the Council of Light. Go fulfill your destiny, wizard. Hold tight, dear Bartleby. Help is on the way. We hope. To complete the arboreal ritual, you must collect the first spring leaf from each of the original spell trees. Go, run. Collect the first spring leaf from each of the original seven spell trees. Do not forget Niles in Crocotopia. Good to see you again, wizard. You need my spring leaf to help Bartleby? Absolutely. Here, take it with my blessing. Dearest wizard, I do wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But please, take my spring leaf. Just help Bartleby. A word on the wind is that you're going to attempt the armorial ritual. That's electrifying. My spring leaf is yours. Just help Bartleby. You seek my spring leaf, so you are to attempt the armorial ritual. The news gives me chill. My spring leaf is all yours. 
Hello, wizard. You need my spring leaf? I sensed that your fire magic was strong, but I had no idea you could be scion material. Take my first spring leaf with my fiery blessing, old friend. Good luck with the arboreal ritual. I hope you can help Bartleby. Too long. <laughs> what brings you back to our sandy section of the spiral? Oh, you're going to attempt the arboreal ritual? Then you're going to need my first spring leaf, I suppose. It's all yours. I've a good feeling this will be the last time I'll be giving one out. <laughs> Good. You have all seven spring leaves. According to the ancient texts, you now have everything you will need to perform the arboreal ritual. To complete the ritual, you'll place the seven spring leaves along with a lock of your hair into the ceremonial bowl upon the arboreal altar. Unfortunately, the ancient texts do not describe what will follow, probably because it's never been completed by anyone. However, we do know that the Scion will be granted access to Bartleby's sacred root system. I wish I could accompany you. However, this path is reserved for you alone. Be diligent, but swift. We are all counting on you. Attempt the arboreal ritual at once. If you are indeed Bartleby's Scion, you must rid his roots of the pestilence that afflicts him. the arboreal altar. You possess the seven spring leaves, but have you the will of the great trees, Scion?
your will, newcomer. Now, place the seven spring leaves and the lock of your hair upon the arboreal altar. Only fate can determine if you are, or are not, the Great Tree Scion. The altar has accepted your offering. Bartleby be praised, the Scion has emerged, and none too soon. Blessed Scion, please hear our plea. Magic is now infused with the might of the trees. Accept and wield this spell with the dignity, discretion, and grace of the great tree. From the time Bartleby took root here above the springs eternal, we have guarded this place. Not long ago, a chill wind shook Bartleby to his core, but it was what that wind carried that has wrought such devastation, a virulent rot. We noticed the rot spores immediately. We fought them as best we could, but the rot grew exponentially as it fed upon Bartleby's sacred roots. Eventually, the rot grew into an insatiable pestilence that gnawed through the roots toward the springs eternal, Bartleby's life source. The Great Tree has done everything he can to keep the destructive disease contained within himself, even locking us root guardians out. However, the root door has opened for you. Please enter and eradicate the pestilence, and be sure to clear any rotted roots you see too. Thank you. 
Two of your bark will help me understand. fights back! Wizard, my scion, you have done it. I am at long last healed. I hope seeing me like this does not disturb you. Now that I am finally rid of that voracious pestilence, my faculties are slowly returning. Come closer, my scion. There is much we have to discuss. From the day you arrived at Ravenwood, I have been anxiously awaiting this moment. At last, my scion, you are realizing your destiny. Before you leave, take a vial of water from the Springs Eternal. It will serve you well in the future. My scion, you should be off. Our journey together is only beginning. First, tell Melinda she can stop fussing over me.
Wizard, look at Bartleby's leaves. The color is returning. You've healed him, haven't you? This means you were able to complete the ritual. You are Bartleby Scion. I always knew you were special. Yes, this wizard was always destined for greatness, but their work is far from over. Now we must all refocus our efforts upon healing Mallory. She is crucial if we hope to convince Grandmother Raven to spare the spiral. But time is running out. Mallory refuses to heed my calls. You have been communicating with Mallory, Bartleby? Did you think I was talking to myself? Mallory fled Raven's astral plane into the place where all minds meet, called the Reverie. If she doesn't wake soon, she'll unwittingly cross over to the other side, and there will be nothing to protect us from Raven's wrath. I will resume pleading to Mallory, but I am still weak. I can grab her attention, but Wizard, you must go to Reverie and convince her to wake. But first, you must ensure that her body is alive and well enough for her mind to return to it. Take Mallory's mortal form to the point where life and death magic converge. Mandala. Now, make haste, my scion. I do not envy the task ahead of you, but I am more confident than ever in your abilities, dear wizard. And so is your former headmaster. Ambrose has returned to the Arcanum to confer with the scholars and the Council of Light. You should update them with your news. I always knew you were special, but to be Bartleby Scion, oh, I couldn't be more proud. Oh, alas, there's no time to revel in the moment. With Bartleby on the mend, did he offer any insight into repairing the rift between Raven and Spider? Or what's to be done about Mallory? Bartleby says Mallory's consciousness is lost in the reverie? Ooh. That's the plane where thoughts and memories coexist. But how do we retrieve her? You are to escort Mallory to the place where life and death converge. Uh, a place called Mandala, you say? Mandala, of course. That's the island where the life and death paradox chain is moored. In Imperia. Ah, uh, of course it's in Imperia. At least Spark and the Captain are already there. But how in the blue blazes do we get into this reverie place? I have heard legends tell of the reverie. I am certain it is akin to the other side. It will take a bit of research, but I can get you there. When the time comes, I will find you. It's gonna take a bit to get Mallory's life support apparatus prepped for travel. You go on ahead, wizard. We'll catch up with you on Ariel. My, oh my. This all has my head spinning. <laughs> Good luck, Wiz. Uh, uh, I mean, Scion. <laughs> We're all counting on you. Mm -hmm. 